Just three, two, one, and start pouring. Not even close. <laughs> In today's video, we're having a look at our $10,000 AI generated and 3D printed LN2 container. We'll go over the basic design and manufacturing processes, and we'll also evaluate the performance in a real world extreme overclocking scenario. As I outlined in a blog post posted a couple of weeks ago, the idea is simple. Let's utilize cutting edge technologies like generative AI design and additive manufacturing to create a thermal solution for extreme overclocking with liquid nitrogen. This project aimed to achieve two key goals. First, a feasibility study. We want to know if it's even possible to produce a high performance LN2 CPU container using these technologies. Second, if it's feasible to produce a sample, conduct a performance evaluation and see how it stacks up against one of the best LN2 containers available on the market. We teamed up with three industry leading companies, Diabatics, 3D Systems and Elmo Labs. Diabatics is a Belgian company leading the charge of utilizing generative AI technology to develop thermal solutions. They do this with their cloud-based Coldstream Next platform. The platform features a physics reinforced approach, enabling design optimization for maximum heat transfer and efficiency while minimizing material usage and energy consumption, all while delivering a user friendly experience. For example, Diabotics previously demonstrated a 55% improvement in water block cooling efficiency by combining generative AI and additive manufacturing technologies. However, Designing an LN2 container presents unique challenges compared to traditional air and liquid cooling solutions. The output of the generative AI process is impressive. It is immediately obvious, however, that this design cannot be manufactured using traditional processes. We need metal 3D printing. Founded in 1986, 3D Systems is a pioneer in the 3D printing industry. They offer a range of technologies, including direct metal printing or DMP. DMP is an additive manufacturing technique that builds complex, high quality metal parts from 3D CAT data. A high precision laser selectively melts metal powder particles layer by layer. That enables the creation of intricate geometries that are impossible to construct with traditional subtractive or casting methods. For this project, 3D Systems utilized their DMP Flex 350 metal 3D printer. In addition to the 3D Systems printer, we also used a 3D Systems certified oxygen-free copper powder. Maintaining the purity of the copper powder during printing is of utmost importance, as any oxygen in the copper matrix has a detrimental effect on its thermal conductivity. Elmore Labs is perhaps the most well-known name in extreme overclocking and PC DIY enthusiast circles. The Elmore Labs Volcano CPU LN2 container is considered one of the top LN2 containers used by many of the top extreme overclockers. It comes as no surprise then that it served as a reference design for this project. Featuring a copper base and an aluminum body, the Volcano LN2 pot is designed for maximum cooling efficiency and stability, ensuring reliable and consistent performance every time. Modern CPUs and GPUs boast significantly higher power usage and density than in the past. Therefore, effective LN2 containers must address several critical design constraints. The container needs enough mass to maintain a stable and cool LN2 reservoir. The design must maximize the surface area in contact with the CPU for efficient heat transfer. The design should mitigate the laden frost effect, which is a phenomenon that can hinder heat transfer at boiling temperatures. 
To simplify comparing the AI generated and Volcano LN2 containers, we reuse the Volcano mounting mechanism. With the efforts and resources of these three industry leading partners, we were able to design and manufacture a CPU LN2 container. Feasibility? Check. But what about thermal performance? Our first three tests are purely focused on the performance of the container without heat load. We conduct three basic tests, cooldown time, heat up time, and efficiency. With the cooldown time test, we measure how long it takes for the LN2 container to get from an ambient temperature to the boiling temperature of nitrogen, which is about 196 degrees Celsius. Having a fast cooldown temperature is important because the faster you can cool down the LN2 container, the faster you can get started chasing those peak clocks and benchmark records. The Elmo Labs Volcano LN2 container is known to be one of the fastest containers on the market. However, the AI-generated design utterly destroys the traditional design in this test as we see a 3x speedup in cooldown performance. It takes the AI-generated design less than a minute to cool down to minus 195 degrees Celsius, whereas it takes the Volcano about 3 minutes. With the heat up time test, we measure how long it takes for the LN2 container to get from a full pot scenario back to an ambient temperature. Being able to heat up quickly can be important in case you need to swap parts or deal with a particularly challenging cold bug or cold boot bug. Again, the AI generated design is quicker than the traditional design of the Elmo Labs Volcano. However, the performance difference isn't as dramatic as the cool down test scenario. We see a speed up of 1.21x as our AI LN2 container heats up 30 seconds faster than the volcano. In our next test, we measure the temperature delta when using a fixed 500 milliliter of liquid nitrogen. A more efficient LN2 container design will cause less of the nitrogen to evaporate and more of it to be used for the actual cooling. Having an efficient design can help save liquid nitrogen, which can be important if you have a limited supply. Again, the AI generated design shows a significant performance improvement as it can cool down to minus 133 degrees Celsius with half a liter of liquid nitrogen. The volcano also achieves below minus 100 degrees Celsius. The total efficiency improvement is about 20%. So clearly the AI generated and 3D printed CPU LN2 container shows a lot of potential, but the proof is in eating the pudding. So we put the LN2 container to the test in a real system with the Intel Core i9-14900KF Raptor Lake processor. We conducted three tests. We checked the performance in Cinebench 2024 when overclocked. We checked the CPU pot to heat spreader temperature delta in high load scenarios. And we pushed the power consumption of the CPU to the max. Our first check is the most practical of all of our tests conducted as we tried to find out what's the maximum stable CPU frequency. Of course, a key limiting factor is the CPU's overclocking capability. Still, a well-designed LN2 container can help maintain higher loads for longer. We find that both LN2 containers can handle the Core i9-14900KF with P-Cores clocked to 7.4 GHz without any issue. It seemed that the AI-generated design could perhaps hold 7.5 GHz just a tad longer, but that might just be run-to-run -run variation. Either way, the AI design passes with flying colors. In our second test, we want to verify the delta between the CPU container base and the CPU heat spreader. The idea is that good designs will minimize the delta as it transfers the heat more efficiently. Here we find that the traditional design has a smaller delta of only 15 degrees Celsius, whereas our AI generated design has a delta of 23 degrees Celsius. However, the CPU heat spreader temperature is pretty much the same. So there might have been an issue with the heat spreader temperature probe placement. We will have to repeat this test in the future. Last but not least, I also wanted to do a glory run and push the CPU to its maximum power consumption. For this purpose, we ran the OCCT CPU stress test with AVX2 and small data set. This stresses not only the CPU cores, but also the CPU's caches. We pushed the CPU over 600 watt for a couple of minutes. However, the AI generated and 3D printed CPU LN2 container has no issues at all. 
another impressive result. The performance of the AI-generated 3D-printed LN2 container exceeded our wildest expectations. Before testing the LN2 container, most of us were skeptical about the design. But our opinion quickly changed the moment we witnessed the incredible cooldown performance. Uh, okay. Look at that. Jesus. How fast. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's cool. Overall, this design beats a traditional design on all relevant performance metrics. However, the impact in a real-world scenario is less pronounced. When testing a highly overclocked Intel Raptor Lake processor, the traditional design performs on par with the AI-generated design. Furthermore, it costs significantly less than the AI-generated design. So, what are our next steps for this LN2 container? On the design side, we could look into performance and cost optimizations. For example, the design of the LN2 container doesn't necessarily need to be circular. That shape is the preferred choice to cost optimize for CNC machining. We could, in theory, print any 3D shape. Also on the design side, we could look into an LN2 container design for even higher powered CPUs, such as the AMD Ryzen Threadripper or Intel Xeon 6 processors. Elmore has demonstrated an overclocked Intel Sapphire Rapid can go up to nearly 2000 watts. We'd also love to find a way to commercialize the design and make it available to anyone. Of course, the manufacturing cost will be slightly higher than a CNC machined LN2 container. But perhaps we can bring it to market at a reasonable cost if we find a way to optimize the supply chain.